In this movie, a new boy child is born with wings and can fly uncontrollably, escaping from his parents. He was mysteriously born after his mom had an affair with a random stranger. Welcome to Thriller Recaps. Today, I am explaining the movie, Ricky, explaining every scene as it happens. Watch till the end, and please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this. Katie wakes up when her daughter Lisa calls her, and they start their day by showering and eating breakfast. Katie takes Lisa to school on her bike, promising to pick her up 10 minutes before 5 o'clock. Then, she goes to work at a factory. While she's working, she sees some men entering the factory, and she exchanges glances with one of them. During her break, she notices the man and his friends in the cafeteria, and a colleague comments that he's not very good-looking when she catches Katie looking over. Katie goes outside to smoke, and the man, Paco, joins her. They introduce themselves and share flirty looks while Katie helps him light his cigarette. They become intimate in the restroom and then go their separate ways. When Katie returns to work, her supervisor asks where she's been since the break ended a while ago. Katie gives an excuse and is told to return to work, relieving the person in her station. Katie starts feeling strange and suddenly faints. It's dark when Katie finally picks up Lisa, apologizing for being held up at work. She realizes she forgot Lisa's helmet, so she gives hers to Lisa, and they go home. The next day, Katie takes Lisa to school as usual. After work, she sees Paco waiting for her at the factory gates. He offers her a cigarette, which she rejects. She tells him that what had happened between them the other day was an accident, and she doesn't normally do that. He tells her that he doesn't smoke either. At home, Lisa sees Katie getting ready to go out, so she asks her where she's going. Katie tells her that she is going to a restaurant with some friends and tells Lisa to get ready for bed. At the restaurant, Paco arrives late, so he apologizes to Katie. They talk about Lisa's dad, who wanted her not to have the baby. Paco tells her that he had been married in Spain when he was younger, but the marriage didn't last. They head to Katie's home where they get intimate. Meanwhile, Lisa isn't asleep, so she hears her mum come back before the noise that ensues. In the morning, Lisa heads to her mum's room, but she's already up. She hears people talking, so she goes to the dining area to find her mum with an unknown man. Paco tries to talk to her, but she doesn't respond, running back to her room. Katie apologizes to him for Lisa's behavior. She goes to Lisa's room where she tells her about Paco coming to live with them and them becoming a family. The next morning, Lisa takes the bus to school. She sees her mom and Paco going to work on Katie's bike, so she tries to wave at them, but they don't see her. One day at work, Paco is informed of Katie being hospitalized. It turns out that Katie had given birth. Paco asks Lisa at the hospital what she would like the baby to be called, and she says Ricky. Paco asks her why she chose that name, and she replies that she doesn't know. The doctor tells them that Katie had a healthy baby boy. Katie and the baby are discharged from the hospital. Lisa shows her mom her room, which has been decorated, and Ricky's crib has been placed there. Paco takes Lisa to school, and she is dropped off by the bus after school. She sees Paco talking to another woman in front of their apartment building, but he doesn't see her, so she runs into the building. At the apartment, Lisa asks her mom when they would have dinner, and Katie tells her that they have to wait for Paco. Just then, Paco arrives at the apartment, and Katie confronts him about where he had been. He tells her that he had been hanging out with someone, so she asks him why he didn't think to call and inform her. They get into a big argument, which makes Ricky cry, but the two adults are too angry with each other to hear, leaving Lisa to take care of him. Katie settles in bed to sleep when Paco asks her if she's still angry at him. She replies that she is, so he tells her about how difficult it's been at work. She tells him that she understands the difficulty of paying the bills and that it will all be over soon because she will be starting work tomorrow to help pay the bills. They settle their issue. The next day, Katie starts her shift, leaving Paco to watch Ricky. He prepares his bottle following Katie's instructions when Ricky starts crying. He feeds him and changes Ricky's diaper, but he doesn't stop fussing. Katie and Lisa return home and find Ricky in Paco's arms, who has fallen asleep. Katie takes Ricky for a bath, waking Paco. He offers to help Lisa with her homework, and she agrees, commenting that his French is not good. Paco explains that he has an accent because he's Spanish, but he is fluent in French. Katie calls Paco over and shows him a bruise she found on one side of Ricky's back. She asks how Ricky got it, and Paco says he didn't drop him, so he doesn't know. Lisa joins them, asking what's wrong with Ricky. That night, after Paco leaves for his shift, Ricky becomes fussy again. Katie removes his onesie and finds another bruise on the other side of his back. The next day, Katie confronts Paco as soon as he comes back home from his shift. She believes he hit their son, which angers Paco. 
He picks up his belongings, drops his keys, and leaves. Katie returns home from her shift and asks Lisa, who is watching Ricky, to bring him from his crib so she can feed him. Lisa runs back, saying Ricky isn't in his crib. They find blood in his crib. Lisa says no one has been there. They hear Ricky babbling and find him on top of a wardrobe. They wonder how he got there. Katie tries to get him down, but he falls, revealing two bloody limbs protruding from his back. They bathe him, then place him back in his crib, pinning a sheet over it to prevent him from climbing to the wardrobe again. At dinner, Katie tells Lisa not to tell anyone at school about Ricky because he is different. Katie is about to go to bed when she picks up her phone to call Paco, but she changes her mind. Katie measures Ricky's wings and finds they've grown more. She tries using paper tape to hold his wing in place so it doesn't move while he's wearing clothes, but his wings remove it, so they alter his shirts to accommodate his wings. They try the shirt on him, and he flaps his featherless wings. Lisa asks Katie if Ricky will ever fly, and she replies that he won't with his featherless wings. As time goes by, Ricky's wings start growing feathers. Lisa sees Paco at her school, and he asks about her mom and Ricky. She tells him that Ricky is doing fine, and her bus arrives, so she leaves. Katie goes to the library to find a book about wings to better understand her son. She also gets some supplies for him. At home, they baby-proof the furniture so Ricky doesn't hurt himself practicing how to fly. They wear him safety gear as he practices, but after some time, he falls on the couch, bruising his wings, so Katie applies salve to them. Katie wins some money from the lottery, and they go shopping at the supermarket. Katie and Lisa leave Ricky in a trolley to buy a doll for Lisa, but when they return, Ricky is nowhere to be found. They see him flying inside the supermarket, with lots of people looking at him in awe. Katie and Lisa chase after him, and the supermarket customers are told to leave the building. After the supermarket is cleared, the police try to catch him, but they are unable to until the lights are turned off, making it easier to catch him. Katie and Lisa wait at the visitor's lounge at the hospital while Ricky is being examined by the doctor. After the examination, they are called into the doctor's office. The doctor tells Katie that Ricky is an enigma and would like to run some tests on him, Paco, and Katie. He suggests keeping Ricky there for more examination, but Katie refuses. The doctor tries to help them sneak out of the hospital, but they are seen and followed by some journalists. They manage to escape through the basement into the taxi the doctor had gotten for them to take them home and he gives Katie his card to contact him. At home, the neighbors try to get Katie to show them Ricky, but she refuses, pushing forward to enter the building just as more reporters rush towards her. Katie and Lisa escape into their apartment. They watch their neighbors giving interviews about them on TV, and when Ricky gets fussy, Katie tells Lisa not to go to him, blaming the child for all that happened. Katie sees reporters camped outside the building that night, and into the next day. Lisa wakes up to Ricky crying in his crib, so she unpins the sheet at the top of the crib, and he flies to the top of the wardrobe. She hears a knock, tells her mom, who is taking a shower, and is told not to open the door for the reporters. It turns out to be Paco when Katie opens the door to the bathroom. She tells Lisa to excuse her because she wants to discuss something with Paco, so Lisa leaves them alone. Katie asks him if he is back, and he confirms that he is. Paco asks Katie why she didn't call him to tell him about Ricky. He mentions seeing her on TV and praises Ricky, calling him amazing. Katie lies, saying she lost his number, which he doesn't believe. They start kissing and become intimate. Meanwhile, Lisa talks to Ricky about Paco coming back to take him, and Ricky babbles back to her. Paco asks Katie about Ricky wanting to see him. She questions him about where he had been since he left. He replies that he had been in Paris working at a restaurant washing dishes and plumbing. Katie accuses him of being with a woman, so he agrees, saying it wasn't anything serious. They go to Lisa's room, where Paco sees Ricky with his wings. Ricky becomes agitated seeing Paco, an unfamiliar person to him, and starts flying up, almost hitting himself into the wall. Paco manages to hold his leg, dragging him down, and they see a bruise on one of his wings. Paco suggests finding somewhere else for Ricky because the room isn't safe for him. Katie angrily insists on making the decision herself. The doctor is called to treat the wound on Ricky's wing, showing them an x-ray of his wings. He explains they can conduct an operation to remove it, though it would be painful but safe. When Paco asks what would happen if they decided not to remove it, the doctor explains that his body might wither away. Later, Lisa cuts some papers in her room when she gets the urge to cut Ricky's wing with scissors. But she runs to her bed on hearing someone coming and pretends to be asleep. She watches Paco pin the sheet on Ricky's crib and touch Ricky's wings before he leaves. Paco suggests to Katie that she lets some reporters take videos of Ricky so they can get some money to take care of Ricky and for them to get a better house. Katie accuses him of coming back to make money off his son. He reminds her that she had accused him of hurting Ricky. 
Katie agrees to the plan, so the next day, they bring Ricky outside and tie a string to his leg to hold him, and the reporters start taking his pictures. Katie accidentally lets go of the string, and Ricky flies away towards a lake. Everyone runs after him, but he flies out of sight, leaving Katie distraught. As dusk falls, the doctor joins them, and Paco tells him they couldn't find Ricky despite searching everywhere. Meanwhile, Katie sits by the lake, unable to move. Paco tells Lisa to be with her mom because she needs her, and he admits to the doctor that he feels responsible for what happened. The next day, Lisa and Paco share flyers with baby Ricky's picture on them. At breakfast, Katie is barely herself, going to the window when she hears a noise, thinking it might be Ricky. Paco urges Katie to pull herself together, explaining that Ricky has likely gone somewhere else and may not come back. Katie asks if he thinks Ricky is dead, and he replies that it's unlikely he has survived until now. Katie decides to take a walk to the lake. She goes to the lake, shedding her coat with plans to commit suicide by drowning. Just then, she hears a noise from the sky and shades her eyes from the sun. She sees Ricky flying naked and goes to him, careful not to scare him. She apologizes to him for letting the rope slip from her hand, admitting she thought he looked beautiful flying. After talking to him, Ricky flies back to where he had been while Katie watches him go, smiling. Lisa and Paco are having breakfast when the doorbell rings, so Lisa goes to open the door. It's Katie who's at the door, and Paco goes to see who's there since it's silent. Katie tells them that she forgot her keys. Seeing her wet, Paco asks why she is soaked, but she doesn't answer, instead hugging them both. She tells him that she loves him. Sometime later, Paco takes Lisa to school on Katie's bike. A pregnant Katie watches them from their apartment window, smiling. Lisa is shown smiling while holding on to Paco from the back as he takes her to school. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I would also appreciate a comment because it helps like you can't even imagine. It's a new channel and every bit of support counts.